Um, American Civil Liberties Union does our work uh, using an array of strategies, and legislative lobbying obviously is quite important, both in Congress and with the Tennessee General Assembly, and actually in some, at some uh, Metro Council, County Commission settings as well. Because it's all happening now at the local and state group and field in terms of how we can make a difference. Um, our, our agenda is multifaceted, so that's why we work with so many of these folks. Um, immigrant rights and fair treatment of immigrants and refugees, LGBT equality, uh, certainly uh, protecting religious freedom, fighting to defend reproductive justice. So I'm not going to speak to all these other these issues that we're working with with these folks because we don't care about that. I'm going to talk about something we're doing which is really proactive and, and pretty healthy since we're combating so many attacks on our freedoms at the legislature. And that's criminal justice reform. Um, that is one area where we feel that there is some good bipartisan work that can take place and will take place. There are legislators um, in this room who will meet who are engaged in that. When we think about criminal justice reform for ACLU, we think about you know, the two prongs, police accountability issues and then issues around um, reducing mass incarceration. And that requires us to look at issues around school to prison pipeline, sentencing reform, and then easing access back into the community after you've served your sentence. So the area of criminal justice reform is where we're doing most of our work, proactive work this session. Um, we have created a coalition called the Coalition for Sensible Justice. It is a nonpartisan group. It's modeled after my colleagues did this in Texas, but we're seeing it all after the come all all over the country. Um, I will mention their names because I know we're not. They do some things that you know challenge some of the issues. We also. Um, are focused on but the ACLU, the Beacon Center, the Tennessee Association of Goodwill Industries, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, and the newest member is the Tennessee Association of County Services. That group represents 95 counties. These five organizations have come together to focus on the coalition, to create this coalition for sensible justice, to look at what we can do to reduce mass incarceration. We're starting with issues around juvenile justice, and reducing the age when young people can have their record expunged for status offenses. We're also wanting to empower young people so that they know what their rights are and when they can have their records expunged. There are also some really important expungement uh, bills out there dealing with letting individuals who have had their cases dismissed um, get their records expunged. And I say automatically, but rather than having it just on paper automatically, know that when they go in front of their court, to, in front of the judge to learn about their case being dismissed, the judge is required to tell that individual they can go now to get their record expunged. Part of the expungement uh, movement is so important so that individuals can enter the workplace, can find housing, can become productive citizens, which is all part of protecting the community, ensuring public safety, and treating people fairly and equally, and not with a stigma and a red, you know, letter on their forehead. So that's the positive, proactive work we're doing. I'm afraid you're gonna hear about some of the really terrible attacks, but I believe that to these folks, but know that um, that's something we're doing focuses on as well. I listened to Beth talk um, about how important it is to be in touch with your legislature to know their staff, because you get a lot of information from staff, you understand what the legislature is thinking. When I came here, and of course, it's decades ago, the first mistake I made when I went into the legislator's office was to say, what do you think about this bill? And you never do that. Um, and I learned that, and I, you know, I'm very grateful to a woman who was a representative from the Tri-Cities who explained that to me. It's important that you share your opinion and you need to know that these are folks who don't have a lot of information about the bills that they are pursuing. Sometimes they sign legislation without even knowing what they signed. So it's really important for you as their constituent um, to share what you believe is the right way for Tennessee to move forward. I will tell you we now have been lucky to hire a young man named Henry Seaton, who is our LGBT organizer. You'll hear from Chris, I'm sure, about the um, very terrible bill that they returned about the transgender uh, access to the bathroom for transgender youth. The important thing that I saw last year when Henry was in the hall, and he will now be representing the ACLU and continuing to do this work in the halls of the legislature, is how the one-on-one -on -one contact with legislators who had never met a transgender youth 
they started to understand what the issue was, and we, we saw some votes change. We helped, and we know we need to do more of that. How's that? Thank you. Perfect. <laughs>